Hello. Hi. Hey. Welcome back to another episode of the Bruja Podcast. This is our fifth episode, Vandechi. Yes. I'm like excited. I'm so super excited. excited. Before we before we dive into um the episode, how have you been? How was your week? School we'll starts. It already started last week. Um, I did some laundry, just cleansed. Um, when I say cleanse, I mean like, you know, use Palo Santo, use sage around the house. I'm ready for the fall. I'm a fall girl. There's a lot of summer girls out there. I'm a go back to school type of chick. <laughs> I'm like cheesing because I'm also a fall girl as well. Like I love the late summer. Yeah. But I'm so looking forward to September. And yeah. of course, I'm a Scorpio, so Scorpio season. You are a Sagittarius, so Sagittarius season for mm-hmm. you. I definitely, definitely resonate with that. For me, I definitely have to, I have to do my cleanses. Actually, um, I was mentioning to you earlier that I got a random invitation to the beach, and uh, for me, that's going to be my my first phase of cleansing is just getting into some water. Yeah. So, it was also a heavy week for um, some of us because of. Uh, you know the loss of um <gasps> Chadwick and did you know i when i found out i was just like flabbergasted i was gobsmacked like i, I there was no words like girl i was devastated uh, so then i was looking at pictures and like the recent award shows that he's been to he looks a little bit skinnier yeah you know what yeah, i'm saying a little there, bit more not emaciated lot- but skinnier yeah. emaciated like you know like you could tell like not tell if somebody has cancer but if somebody's emaciated and like they are very gaunt in the face you could you know they're- right right and you know it, it was i was seeing a lot of posts on facebook uh, different people expressing their grief it was mentioned of the fact that a lot of people you know had made fun of him around that time period when he was i think he had like posted something on his social media and you know he looked he looked a bit more you know slimmer skinnier as you had mentioned and you know unfortunately the way that the internet works some people you know that's made so fun of that and now they're realizing what that was about and um feel like shit huh <laughs> they feel like shit, as they should as they should oh as they should that it that was a, a reminder for me that you know you never know what someone's going through and you have to be kind never know what someone's struggle is or just what they're going through overall you know yeah. top of the fact that yesterday was also the fifth month of my mom's passing so that was just i was just emotionally gone thank you for um, saying that thank you for being vulnerable and and sharing that with our listeners because i feel like a lot of the time when people are going through grief or when people are going through emotional tolls like people have a tendency of guarding themselves and not really even guarding themselves but how can you communicate with someone else about something that you are trying to decipher and understand yourself and i just want to say thank you for being vulnerable and being honest and letting us know about that because i feel like there are there may be some of our listeners that their mother has passed and there's not like a man Manual or a guide as to like how do you live without your parents so it's it's good that you're talking about this but it's sad that thank it you yeah it's and thank you for those words because it, it's so true it's um it's such a difficult thing to talk about and it's definitely something I've wanted to open up little by little for our listeners because this whole year has been so difficult for many of us. Um, yeah. A lot of loss, you know, the yeah. pandemic, a lot of uncertainty. And it's funny because I wasn't listening to, but I, I was, whenever I'm on the Anchor app, um, so for our listeners, this is where we record. Literally, Bondechi and I are, mm-hmm. are doing a, this call through Anchor. Mm-hmm. But I was seeing, you know, the first episode that I had put out for the podcast and, you know, how I'd mentioned that 2020 is the year of ascension and there's a lot of things coming for us, I didn't realize all of this was gonna happen. You know, I was like, yeah, year of ascension, we're gonna rise, and I'm like, damn. I feel like we're still ascending, but this is this is some shit that yeah. we're going through. Um, and so for me personally, emotionally, it, it's been a lot. I'm working through trying to figure out grief. You know, grief is everyone who handles it differently, shows up in different ways. Yeah. You know, having friends and support um has been very helpful of course there have been times i won't lie there have been times where i don't even know how to express myself how to communicate let alone how to communicate about the grief itself but i appreciate your words because it's hard 
it's not easy being vulnerable, especially having gone through that. And of course, as you know as well, my listeners don't know this, or you know, going through a breakup mm. also. Yeah. Very difficult. So I'm going through it, but, you know, we are pushing through, moving through. Yeah. I've seen a lot of memes on Instagram like, oh, can you imagine you're going through a breakup and you're at work? Or can you imagine if you're going through a breakup and something else happens? I'm just thinking like, well, can you imagine if, you know, pre- pretend that you're yeah. in your shoes? Like, to be challenged yeah. is to be chosen. And I feel like there's no such thing as coincidences. You are right. This is a, the year of ascension. Maybe it's emotionally. Maybe it's emotionally growing a thicker skin. Maybe it's it's, it's a good year to grow. And maybe it's not the way we're not going to grow the way we thought we were going to grow. Like, for example, oh, with... Um, an abundance of happiness and joy you know what i'm saying maybe sometimes you need to go through the bad in order to really appreciate the good and not saying that this year was quote unquote bad because i learned a lot from it and i feel like if you do not learn from an experience then Mm -hmm. then you didn't learn the lesson at all so it's going to continue to happen until you learn your lesson and i feel like there's a lesson there's myriads a plethora of lessons to be learned in the year and the year is still not over but i just want to say you're definitely not alone you're definitely not alone yeah that resonates overall with all of that but yes i think it's those are the words that have definitely helped me go through is realizing i'm not alone definitely want to offer that to our listeners you know for anyone going through anything anything whether it's you know grieving or or anything else you know you're not alone loss of job like you failed the class you lost a job you um lost custody of a kid or something i'm just thinking about things um if you are experiencing flooding especially because you know the hurricanes that were happening in the south it's just it's just so mm-hmm. yes much but yeah i feel like this is the year of the spiritual warrior in a sense because this it's going it's you're you have to be strong this is the time to be strong yes absolutely absolutely and i love that um spiritual warrior i definitely relate a lot to that archetype the warrior but i wanted to get into the retrograde that happened earlier this month i think it was it was august 13th if i'm remembering correctly i'm looking at my calendar Mm. as we speak uranus went retrograde uranus (laughs) i say uranus (laughs) <laughs> on, the, on the TMI podcast talking mm. about that and um, one of the people on there pronounced it that way and I laughed just because I get childish when I hear Uranus. it pronounced that way um, do you pronounce it Uranus or you pronounce it Uranus I say Uranus you say Uranus yes yeah, I, I say Uranus because I'm just like I think that's more political I just, I just feel so weird <laughs> <laughs> but it went retrograde 